I demonstrate here the capillary blood from a patient with a very intensive form of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis in light field and 100 times magnification and interference contrast and 1200 times magnification. In the thin blood layer between the microscope slide and the cover glass, structures of this kind was possible to see among the red blood cells. We see that such a structure is dark in its central part and around its central part in its periphery there is a light border area. In this part of the disc formed structure there is always an abundant amount of small oscillating particles to be found. This structure must in the blood or in a solid tissue exist as a ball like formation and probably these balls develop in the tissues which are located between the blood capillaries. When pinpricking the fingertip, such balls will probably come into the blood, which can be pressed out as a blood drop from the pad of the finger. Similar disc form structures can also be found in capillarily received blood from patients with other kinds of chronic disease states. Now we are going to look at this structure with interference contrast microscopy in 1200 times enlargement. We look here at its central part. It is without any sign of microbial growth and looks like a mole landscape. However, if we take a look at its light peripheral zone, we will always find a lot of moving particles as here. Swift structures of this kind are to be found in capillarily received blood like this. It is 100% sure that myriads of oscillating particles in different sizes and forms are to be found in the light corona zone around such a structure. Now I will follow the light peripheral zone around this structure in the microscope to show all the mysterious moving particles in this area. It seems as if those particles keep to the central part of this structure and they don't seem to mix plentifully with the surrounding red blood cells. Here for example there are only a small number of them among the red blood cells <coughs> and suddenly there are no particles at all to be seen and far away from this structure the blood can look almost sterile. Consequently, it is not enough to take a short look on the blood in the microscope to find this incredible amazing particle activity in a capillarily received blood drop. It is necessary to analyze the whole blo thin blood layer between a microscope slide and a cover glass. And then these structures can come into sight. Here the blood suddenly looks almost sterile.
and here we have the particles uh, keeping to the structure. If such structures are situated and growing in the tissues between the small capillary vessels, this could explain why these mysterious round formations can be found in a capillarily received blood drop, and why they are possible to find in such a blood drop when different chronic disease states are underway. In this blood sample, there are three to four such structures on the slide, and it is interesting that these structures in most cases are found in the first received blood drop, but they will become fewer in the following drops from the same hole in the finger pad. Is it possible that similar structures or ball formations also can occur in the tissues between the capillary vessels of other parts of the body? In that case, this could support the theory that the inflammation and irritation which may be caused by such a growth in the different tissues of a body might be a cause of lengthy sickliness, which is so frequent, as well as great parts of the more serious disease panorama. Far away from this structure, the blood plasma looks almost sterile. Thank you.